Welcome to section 2, using the block architecture in your app. In this video, we will look at creating our own block provider. Fast recap, we have created this class database API. And this will just create instances of our category class. And this will then return a list of categories. If we look at our category class, we can see that it contains an ID and name. And in our homepage, we create our instance of the database. And then we create a list view builder to return the name of each category. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to navigate to the widgets folder right to the left. We right click on this and create a new Dart file. And this Dart file will be called the block provider. So I will just paste in the content and explain it as we go. So at the top, we can see that we have a abstract class called block base. And this will just force us to implement the dispose method into our blocks. Then we can see that we're creating a stateful widget. So what this is going to be used for, that we are going to pass this a child and a block. And we're then able to get this stateful widget depending on where we are in the tree. And then here we create a state, which is just a dispose. So when this widget is disposed, we can call the block dispose method. And we can return the child as the build method. 